Hi loves, it's Kayla. In today's video I'm going to be showing you our entire color range. This will help you while selecting your perfect shade of Bellamy's. The first shade that we offer is number one, Jet Black. It is a cool toned pure black and also the darkest shade that we offer. The next shade is number 1B Off Black. It is still a black shade but it does have more warm undertones. Comparing the two side by side you can see that Jet Black is more of a cool toned black and Off Black is more of a warm toned black. The next shade is number 1C Mochaccino Brown. This one is the darkest brown that we offer. It has slight red undertones. It's very warm toned. It has a mix of black and brown strands, but it does have more black than brown strands. When comparing the two side by side, you can see that they both have warm undertones, but the off black on the left is much darker than Mochaccino Brown, and Mochaccino Brown also has more red undertones. The next shade is number two, Dark Brown, and this shade has a mix of red undertones and golden undertones. It does have more brown strands than black strands, it is a very true and rich brown color. Comparing the two side by side, you can see that they're both warm undertoned. Mochaccino brown on the left has a little bit less red undertone than the dark brown on the right. And dark brown also has more light golden tones to it. The next shade is number four, chocolate brown. And this color has a lot of golden undertones as well as red undertones. And it is a warm, medium to light brown color. When comparing the two, you can see that they both have golden red undertones, but the dark brown is much darker than the chocolate brown. The next shade is number six, chestnut brown. And this shade is a lighter brown with honey golden undertones. It also has some blonde strands as well as light brown strands. When compared with chocolate brown, you can see that the chestnut brown is a lot lighter than the chocolate brown. Chocolate brown also contains more red tones while the chestnut is more golden and honey toned. The next shade is number 8 Ash Brown. This one is also a lighter brown shade but it has a ton of cool undertones mixed with golden undertones. When comparing the two side by side, you can see that they're both light brown shades, but the chestnut brown is more of a warm toned and golden toned shade, while the ash brown is more of a cool toned shade. The next shade is number 18, Dirty Blonde, and this is the darkest blonde shade that we carry. It has a mix of cool ash undertones as well as golden undertones. Next to Ash Brown, you can see that they are both of that cool undertone, but the Dirty Blonde is much lighter than the Ash Brown. The next shade is number 60, Ash Blonde, and this is a cool toned light blonde color. It matches great with white blondes or anyone with cool toned light blonde hair. Compared to the Dirty Blonde, you can see that they're both cool toned, but Ash Blonde on the right is much lighter. The next shade is number 613 Beach Blonde, and this is the lightest blonde shade that we carry. It does have a lot of golden undertones, and it is more warm toned than cool toned. Comparing the two side by side, you can see that Ash Blonde does have more cool undertones and Beach Blonde has more warm golden undertones. The next shade is number 27, Strawberry Blonde. And this is a warm golden blonde color with a lot of red undertones, so this would work perfect for a natural redhead or anyone with light to medium blonde hair. The very last shade is number 33, Vibrant Red, and this is a warm undertoned, very rich, medium red shade. It does have a lot of red and golden tones to it. 
When comparing the two side by side, you can see that Strawberry Blonde is a blonde shade with light red undertones and the Vibrant Red is a medium to dark red shade. If you still need help on choosing your perfect shade, send us a photo of your hair taken in natural light to info at bellamyhair.com. You can follow us on Instagram at bellamyhair and at x0 beauty by Kayla. And if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos. Thank you for watching.